Hey guys, how's it going? I was thinking about the rapture and the futurism stuff and how I've made some videos on it and uh, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but uh, I was thinking that I'm wrong about something. I may have already made a video on this, but basically in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, it says, verse six, starting at verse 13, but I would not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope for if we believe that jesus died and rose again even so them also which sleep in jesus will god bring with him for this we say unto you by the word of the lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them which are asleep and so this is where a lot of people get tri tricked up on different things so you know it says we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them which are asleep so this is where people think the doctrine of the rapture comes from they think that the lord comes and, and takes you know the saints while they're alive and they don't have to face death or whatever uh so that's wrong but i said that um well it says we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord okay so i said that it means that we which are alive in contrast to those who are asleep and remain means to remain in the faith until the coming of the lord okay until uh until we're deceased and we meet the lord but i think that that is wrong and that's just confusing so i'm going to edit this and i think that uh we which are alive and remain is the same idea okay and he's speaking to a certain group of people and he's talking about the the saints who have died you know you know, maybe maybe recently, those who were martyred, who people who they know. And um, so let me see here. So I go down here, and it says... Okay, we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord. And I said, we who are physically alive and remain in Christ... Uh, until death. So I'm going to kind of edit that. And so I started giving these other verses talking about abiding in the faith and stuff. And so I'm going to get rid of those because I don't think those have anything to do with it. So that just confuses it even more. So I'm going to save that, but I'm going to have to clarify more. So, I mean, he's talking to a group of people. He's talking about those who have deceased, you know, maybe recently the saints and um and then he's saying we the people who he's talking to we who are alive we're still alive in contrast to those who have deceased and remain and so alive and remain are like the same idea as one you know we still we're, we're still alive on this earth in contrast to those who weren't okay and then so it says we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the lord shall not prevent them which are asleep so it's not remaining uh, alive until the, the Lord comes and takes us alive. It's just saying that those of us who are alive, when we meet the Lord, we will not prevent those who have deceased before us. Okay, they will be waiting for us with the Lord. They'll already be with him. So um, that's the sense. And so it's kind of tricky we which are alive and remain okay those of us who who are still alive in contrast to those who have passed unto the coming of the lord when the lord comes shall not prevent them which are asleep so it's like those of us who are alive in contrast to those who have deceased uh, when the lord comes you know we will not prevent them we will not go before them that's basically what it means so just it's I'm just making it simpler now. I don't want to try to explain it a little better on the website, but I just want to make mention of that. So God bless.